Hello everybody, I am Sango and I bring you to another video. What is the best food in the world? Is it America? With their open barbecues there. Uh, that's all I got. Or Italy with its pasta or pizza. The delicious tomatoes from San Marzano. Or the Iberico ham from the mountains of Stephanie, I don't know. Or France with its baguettes. Yeah, that's, that's all I got. For or Nihonjin Japan with sushi and sashimi and help me. No, none of them, none of them come, none of them pale in comparison to my favorite. Of course, we are talking about. Um, our national food, the best food in the world, and that's Thai food. You can't even come close to Thai food. You got somtang. You want barbecue? We got gai yang, ne yang, mu yang, mu bing. You want curries? Well, we got we got green curry, orange curry, and probably red curry. You want noodles? Best thing possible. Kui teo le, kui teo tom yam as well. Oh, Sour, sweet uh, assortments of food from different regions of Thailand. You have northern, eastern, southern. Wait, eastern? Northern, east side, <laughs> southern. Except Pad Thai. I hate Pad Thai. I, I don't know why people like that. If you guys didn't know already, yes, I am Thai. Of course, I'm going to be a little bit biased. Although I will say my most favorite dish is my mom's spaghetti somtam. That is a fusion cuisine where that is the best fusion cuisine you can ever have. Of course, there's nothing disgusting in Thai food. Nothing at all. You cannot find a single dish in Thailand besides Pad Thai that's disgusting. Okay, now I need to cut to the part where I look at some disgusting food from Thailand. Raw beef with uncooked blood. If you take the blood of the beef, of the cow as well and you mix it to make this lab. Normally lab when you cook it. Yep, that's weird. <sighs> Why? <laughs> Developing tadpoles. Bro, I'm gonna have to put everything on the, on my list. If you guys wanna see that, I'm gonna put all of this on my eating list and then we can go out together. I'll have a lovely time. We'll have a lovely adventure. Oh, I had that. It's dancing shrimp. Basically, they take small baby shrimp and then you mix it together. And they're still alive, so they're like jumping all around. But that's good. It's actually yummy. It's weird for sure. And uh, vegans will definitely hate this. Doggy wants some. <laughs> okay. Do it. Bro, that guy chewed too fast, man. You're not gonna get the dancing if you just stop its tracks immediately. La mot dang. My mom likes to like, when we were little, we would have red ants in our house. She would just take the ants like right off the tree or like the ground and then puts it in her mouth. And then she sticks her tongue out and then you have the ants biting her tongue. <laughs> oh, mom, so weird. But this is just eggs, right? These are red ant eggs. So my mom is like, Chad mom, she ate the actual ants. Frick the eggs, man. Bugs are delicious here. That's another thing. Yeah, like this. These you can find for like 20 baht, which is, how much is that in dollars for any Americans? Like 50 cents for like a bag, like this much. Really chewy and salty and good. Very yummy. Same thing, yeah, water bugs. I never actually had, I, yeah, I've had water bugs before. They're all good, all these. Bamboo worms, and caterpillars, crickets, you name them. Gather them up, stick them in the fryer, and then you got food. Scorpions, I've never had scorpions. So my food list right now would be scorpion, red ant eggs, tadpoles, and raw beef with uncooked blood. I've had raw beef before, but I don't know if I had it with the blood. This is not... Thai, so I'm not gonna count this. This I will not touch. I am never going to eat this. This balut thing where like the baby died inside or something. It's like fermented. <laughs> no, this 
And what else? Century eggs. Century eggs are so disgusting. Oh, mantis pods. These are yummy as well. I've how many have I had on this list, man? This. This is. This is one of those things. <laughs> Food reviewing to a whole new level with raw pig's blood soup and buffalo. Sh I'll just let her say it. Buffalo shit just soup. Yeah, thank you. It's hard to say why this dish is created and. Bro, if you guys want to see that, then I will definitely do that. Oh, for content. Jesus. Pork must be cooked to 145 degrees Fahrenheit in order to kill any parasites, especially Trichinella spiralis, a parasite that can live death. Why are people eating this if it's dangerous? Because in the old day, it's the belief that if they're eating raw food, they make them strong. But whatever doesn't kill me- Bro, this is modern. We don't need this anymore. <laughs> cook it. Please cook it. Please cook it. Please cook it. Please cook it. Please. It's fresh, and there could still be some parasites. Has she turned- Bro, I've eaten rats. I have limits, man. I have limits. <laughs> mm. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see enough, I see enough. Boiled for some time, heating up the partially digested juices from when the buffalo was eating grass. After boiling, the intestines are slit open, allowing the juices to pour out. I never thought I would do this on my show, but my rule on my show is always if other people are eating it, I'm gonna eat it too. Chat, chat, chat. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, Thai people, we have the best food in the world, but we also have the worst food in the world. It's a bit of a a balance, so to speak. We've come so far in developing our cuisine, our expertise and skills into making one of the best and diverse foods available and that is enjoyed everywhere. But just some of these regions, especially the North, <laughs> it's just... No. So, if you guys want eat this. I don't know why. I came to this video talking about discussing food, but now for some reason I want to make a list on the future foods I want to eat in a future video. Why would I do that? But yeah, if you guys, if you guys want to see that, sure. Sure. I can force myself. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. But no, what? Why? 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 Okay, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.